So even if it's true, if if it was true that he got injured after the game in a, in a training session, my my counter argument to that would be, well, it's still the international break because the international break isn't just sure. the time you spend on on the actual game itself. It's the it's the travel, it's the training. Uh, how many times mm-hmm. have we seen players get injured during training during the international break? Correct. It's not it's not uncommon, right? And so, <clears throat> you know, on Correct. the flip side, to be completely fair. He has every right to want to break records. He has every right to want to play the, the Olympics and win that tournament if he wants to. He has the right. But I think... I, I, so if I'm Real Madrid, and I'm very curious to know what you think about this. If I'm Real Madrid, I look at this little run of, you know, even before this injury, the one he had earlier this season where Nacho played, and he played really well. The team mm-hmm. did well without him defensively. Mm-hmm. Um. You look at that, and then you look at this, what he decided to do here. And let's say, forget the decision. Let's just look at the fact that he got injured. We don't even have to bring his decision into it. He got injured again. He's missing mm-hmm. a key stretch. Um, he was not part of Real Madrid's two last Champions League exits. Um, one of them for not good reasons. Actually, for you know, the Ajax one was just a terrible thing all, all around. The decision to get yep. booked and the documentary, all of that was just a bad look. Um, and yeah. then, you know, it's, and then you look at it with like, hmm, I don't know. I, I'm really not desperate to give you this contract you want. I just think like after all of this and who knows what happens during this, this, this stretch of games. Cause you know, the classical, you can probably, you might be able to squeak by without him. I don't know what happens there. Barca look great. So I honestly, I don't know. This is a much more difficult classical than it was like a month ago. Um, the two Liverpool games, who know like, if, if they get, through those three games somehow unscathed without Ramos, I mean, that's even more leverage. But I think that Real Madrid can look at this and be like, you know, even if we get you this contract extension and even if you and even if you accept to this and we, we, we mutually come to an agreement, what guarantee do we have that you're just not going to burn yourself to the ground? Because you're 35, all, you have a bunch of injuries this season. You're going to go and play the Olympics, by the way. You have the Euros coming up. It's just a lot. I just feel like Real Madrid... And look, like if anyone deserves a, a contract, it's like him or Cristiano Ronaldo and these guys, right? In the the upper tier, the pantheon of club legends, it's it's people like that. But you know, it's I think the club has a lot of leverage in this situation. I think they're going to weigh all of this, and um, you know, they it, it's not that crazy to want to put that money towards somebody like Alaba. I'm not saying it's the right thing to do, but I'm just saying like. It is something that you have leverage now. You're not as desperate as you were maybe even a month ago because you're just kind of seeing this unfold. And as his contract winds down, he's not doing himself any favors. He's not putting himself in a favorable negotiating position right now. 